In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create and manage signatures within Outlook Online. Now, this is something that many users need to do, but it can be a little bit more confusing, especially if you have already set up and used signatures within the desktop version of Outlook, and then you come into your Outlook Online account to find that those signatures are not there. And that's because signatures created in Outlook on the desktop do not pull through to Outlook Online, even if it is the same account. And if they are created and managed within Outlook Online, they also don't pull through to Outlook Desktop. So let's take a look at the different ways that you can create and manage your signature within Outlook Online. So the first way is you can go to the settings cog at the very top right, and you can either go into compose and reply and find the signature option here, or um, if you're just in the general area or the email area, you can search for signature here, and it will take you to that specific part within Compose and Reply. The other way you can do this is if you generate a new email or are viewing an email, within the Message tab, you'll see you have Signature here. So what you can do is you can click on the Signature button and then go down to Signatures, and that takes you into the same menu as we saw just a second ago. Now, this is where you can manage your existing signatures, but you can only do that once you have created at least one signature. So let's have a look at how to create a new signature within this menu. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to enter a name for our signature. So I'm just going to simply enter my name here. And then what we do is we use this area here to create our signature. Now you can be really creative here. You can add images, you can add certain types of text, bulleted list, anything you want, hyperlinks. You'll see there are lots of formatting options here. I've just kept this one really straightforward and simple. I've just got my name then I've got a little bit of information about what I do. And then I have some hyperlinked text objects here, which link out to those channels and that's it. So nothing going on that's too crazy here. Now, once we have created our signature here, we're not quite done because first of all, what we should do is save the signature. So I'm going to simply click on the save button and now you will see that we have the signature here and we have the option to rename or delete. So in this case, if this is, for example, my YouTube signature, then I might want to click on rename and then put in brackets YouTube. So this could be any emails related to my tech tutorial channel on YouTube. And then if I want to create another new signature, I simply use the new signature option here. And in this example, let's just say this is my golf one. So I'm going to put Andy Todd and then I'm going to put a golf like that. Then I'm going to just simply use that one from earlier and I'm just going to put in I don't know, online golf blog, something simple like that. Of course, I would have changed these URLs, but let's just go with it for now. Again, what we need to do here is click save, and we now have two different signatures that we can select when we are composing an email. Now, before we look at adding these signatures, what is worth knowing is you can set default signatures for your messages. So within your account, if you primarily send out emails, let's say, for example, for my YouTube account, then I might want to make any new messages that come in have the default signature of my YouTube signature. And anytime I'm replying or forwarding, I might want to use one of these as well. You can always add them when you're composing or replying, but if you maybe go between a couple of different signatures quite frequently, adding them in here as a default might not be the best move. But anyway, in this case, I'm going to say for new messages, use my YouTube one, and for replies, use my golf one. Let's click save. Now we're going to close this box down, and what we're going to do is we're going to close that message down and click OK. And then we're going to generate a new email. So let's click new, and you'll see that that signature automatically appears here. So that's the YouTube one. Now it could be at this moment in time, I don't actually want to use that one, so I can simply just delete it. Or I can now go to signature, and you'll see we have the two signatures that we've previously created available. So let's just choose the golf one, and you'll see it populates it with the golf signature. Now, if I am maybe replying to an email, so let's open up this email here, let's click on the reply option, you'll see it has automatically populated it with my golf blog signature, because that's the one I selected within my settings for any replies. So if you want to, you can create signatures from here, but you can also manage them. So let's go to signatures, and let's turn off the default, so we no longer want a default for either of these, and let's save, 
And then whilst I'm here, let's say for example, I want to delete my golf one. All I do is select it and click delete. A word of warning, it doesn't ask you if you're sure you want to delete, it just simply deletes that signature. So of course now I could click discard and it's going to refer back to how it was before, but I'm okay with that. Let's save and we've now updated our signatures. I can delete that one and then you'll see if I choose another email and go to reply, because I've removed the default, it doesn't display the signature. And perhaps this time, if I generate a new email, you'll see the signature isn't added by default because we've removed that option as well. And we now only have one signature option within the signature area here of the message tab for our open email. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment below if you have any comments or feedback on this particular video. Perhaps you've got some ideas of nice ways to present your signature or maybe you do it a slightly different way. I'd be interested to hear, so drop your comments in the comments area. Of course, if you haven't already done so, please do consider subscribing to support the channel and be sure to check out my other Microsoft 365 Outlook online videos already on this channel. But thanks again for watching.